Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to explain one of the interesting use case in Spark development. That is, while reading CSV file, how to skip range of records in the middle of the CSV file. In my previous video, I have explained how to skip first few records while reading CSV file in Spark or Databricks development. To the continuation of that video, I am going to explain how to skip particular range in the middle of the CSV file. This is also one of the common requirement in most of the projects to skip certain records in the middle of the CSV file. For this requirement, we don't have any straightforward solution in a Spark or Databricks. So in my previous video, I have explained how to skip initial few records. For that, we can use option skip rows. So for that, we have to give specific integer number. So it is going to skip the first n numbers based on that parameter. That option is available. But coming to skipping records in the middle of CSV, uh, CSV file, we don't have any straightforward solution. So we have to go with some workaround. So in this video, I am going to explain the steps that we need to follow in order to skip certain records in the middle. And finally, I am going to create one user defined function that, that can be treated as utility function and it can be reused even for your project. Let us understand the requirement first. Let's say I am having a CSV file which is having one field data or we can consider ID which is having six records. So the values are starting from one to six. Now my requirement is I have to skip the records three to five, which means here you know it's ID, but uh, uh, in real time we might have any value. It's not going to be only the ID, right? Now for this requirement, what I have to do is I have to skip these records, the records starting from 3 to 5. Then I am going to get the output of this data frame 1, 2, 6. So I am going to skip these records. As a result, I am going to get, I am going to read only the first two records plus the last record because I am going to skip the range of 3 to 5. So this is my input, this is my output. So let us uh, first understand how we can achieve this solution. So I have divided uh, the approach into five steps. So let me explain the steps one by one. So in the first step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create complete data frame DF1. So here I'm going to read the entire uh, file. So for that, I have already posted one video how to read CSV file in Spark. The video number three, you can watch. And coming to the second step, I'm going to create another data frame that will uh, read, that will skip the number of records based on the starting range. So in this example, I'm going to skip the record starting from three. So that's the reason I'm going to give my starting range two, starting range as a two. Then it, it is going to skip the first two records. So for that, I can use the option skip rows. Then whenever I'm going to give skip rows two, then it will produce this data frame DF2. I have already posted one video, the video number 112, there I have explained how to skip first n number of records while reading CSV file. So you can uh, watch that video to understand these concepts. Once that is done, I am going to find the difference between these two data frame. So here we are having common records 3, 4, 5, 6 between these two data frames. So as a result, when I am going to find the difference, it is going to produce uh, the delta data that is 1, 2. So in the third step, I'm going to calculate the difference between these two data frames. As a result, I'm going to get the delta data frame, which will contain records one and two. For that, I'm going to use the function subtract. So for that as well, I have already posted a video, the video number 107. In case you want to get more information, you can watch that video. Right, now we have completed three steps. At the end of that uh, three steps, we got some delta uh, data frame which is the first part of the expected output. So in our expected output, you know, it is split into two parts. One is for, uh, the record, this range, one, two, and the another range. So basically we have uh, completed the first part. Now I'm going to explain the fourth step. In the fourth step, I'm going to create another data frame based on the end point of that specific range. So in our case, the end point is five. So I'm going to create uh, uh, the data frame with skip rows option and I will give the integer value five, which means it is going to skip first five records. So the remaining records would be only the record six. So it is going to produce this data frame. Now we have created 
this data frame this is the second part of our expected output so in our previous step we have created delta data frame which has produced the number of records 1 and 2 now we got uh, the second part of the output now what we what we have to do is we have to combine these two uh, data frames then it will create our expected output as a resultant data frame so in order to combine two data frames we can go with union function so i have already posted one video the video number 13 there i have talked about union in case you want to get more information you can watch that video right so this is the workaround so i have created uh, the same solution in PySpark, and finally i have converted all these steps into one of the user defined function so let's uh, get started with the demo i have logged into my databricks environment my cluster is up and running i have created sample not not notebook for this exercise so in my previous video i have given this as a exercise for you so basically i, I have explained how to skip uh, first n number of records while reading csv file then at the end of that video i have given this exercise now i am going to explain so i have uploaded uh, one data file baby names id so i am going to use the same file once again for this exercise so first of all let us understand what is there inside this uh, csv file so for that i am going to use file system command percentage fs then the head command to view the content inside the uh, file so i am executing the execution is completed here we can see it is having few columns id year first name count county gender count and in the id column we are having unique id for each record so basically we are having 250 records in this uh, file so we are having unique id that is also 250 now i am going to create data frame by skipping the rows 11 to 20 so which means i should not get the records starting from 11 to 20 in my output data frame that is my requirement so how i can achieve this for that i have already explained the workaround in the ppt now i am going to implement that uh, steps in my PySpark notebook right step one i am going to create data frame by reading all the rows so here i am not giving any skip rows option so basically i am going to read the entire file and it is going to display and also it will give the count for our reference so i am executing the execution is completed here we can see it has produced 250 records and we can see the data frame it's having these columns right in the second step i am going to create another data frame that will um, read only the data from starting point of that specific range so here in this requirement i want to skip the records starting from 11 to 20 so for that reason what i have to do is now i have to use the uh, option skip rows for that i have to give the starting range this number minus 1 the starting point minus 1 which will be 10 so here i am using the option skip rows then i am giving the value 10 so let me execute so this is going to skip the first 10 records in our output so it will start from 11th id so here we can see this is the starting record so it is uh, skipping first 10 records now in the next step what i am going to do is i am going to create one more data frame that will be a start of uh, you know based on the end point of the specific range so the end point is 20 so end point i am going to give as it is so again once again i am using the option skip rows the value 20 so let me execute this one so this step is also completed now it has skipped the first 20 records as a result our data frame starts from uh, id 21 so it is having only 230 records which means it has skipped 20 records and coming to the previous one we can see it has produced only 240 records why because it has skipped first 10 records right now we are going to apply our workaround so what i am going to do is i am going to find the difference between my full df and skip start df so this is having only 240 records this is having 250 records which means it is going to produce only first 10 records as out as my output so let me execute this step here we can see it is uh, producing only the first 10 records it is not sorted maybe what i can do is i can uh, order by so here i am finding the difference between full data frame and skip start data frame which means it is going to find the difference between those two data frames and uh, i am going to get the first 10 records as output for this data frame right now in my next step 
I am going to combine this delta df which we got from the previous step with skip ndf which is having the which we got in the uh, step number 3 and this is the output of step number 4. Now I am going to combine both then this is going to give the expected result. So let me execute this step. So here um, you, here we can see you know this is our expected output this is producing 240 records so uh, in our csv file we had 250 rows now we have skipped the records starting from 11 to 20 that's the reason we got only 240 records and let me uh, check you know here we can see the id that is 10 after that the id will be 21 i am sorting based on the id that's the reason we are not having the records uh, 11 to 20 so we have successfully skipped those uh, 10 records while uh, reading the csv file this is the workaround now what i am doing is i have combined all these five steps in one of the user defined function that user defined function is accepting the file path as one of the input parameter then starting position then end position so the starting position in case it's 11th then we have to give starting position minus one that is the value we have to pass so here we need to pass the value 10 and this should be uh, 20 now in the in this uh, user defined function basically i am creating full df then after that i am uh, creating sk skip start df i am creating the data frame based on the by skipping first uh, end records based on the starting point again i am creating another data frame by skipping uh, the number of records based on the end point so basically i am creating these three data frames full df skip start df then skip end df then after that i am finding the difference between uh, start df and full df it is going to give the first part of the uh, uh, data for me then finally i am going to combine that first part that is delta df with my skip end data uh, end data frame then finally it is going to give me expected output then that will that data frame will be written back to the caller so this is the user defined function let me execute so that it can be compiled let me execute so that uh, this user defined function can be created done now i am going to call this function by giving my file path and my starting position and end position then i'm uh, i'm uh, uh, getting the uh, data frame in output df finally i am displaying for our reference so let me execute this step here we can see the output so here we got only 240 records the first uh, uh, 10 records added but after 10 records you know starting from 11 to 20 it got skipped so this is how we can achieve uh, uh, the expected output i hope you understood this workaround and you can use reuse this uh, user event function for your project if needed if you like the content of this video please like and comment in the channel please subscribe this channel and don't forget to click on the bell button to get latest updates on spark and databricks thank you